leader, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Young man started back in 16th position at the AC Delco Chevrolet. He's really just had a great car all night long. Was up to the front right away, uh, passed cars right and left at the start of the race. Uh, had good pit strategy, uh, only took on one set of tires, and uh, he's, uh, he's just been remarkable this year. Oh, indeed. What an impressive young man he is. Looking for win number five. As you see, Mike McLaughlin really having trouble struggling with the handle on his car. He's lost another position. That one going away to Jeff Crow. Now Ed Barrier in the car number 77. The winner this year at Hickory Speedway in the Lear machine. As you take a look at our field summary with less than 10 to go. Matt Kenseth back in sixth spot from 32nd. Mike Wallace after that pit stop climbing all the way back up to ninth. Mike Dillon in 14th position, all the way from the back of the field. Pretty good job with the Detroit gasket car. And trying to take another spot away. Just trying to make a move now inside the Gould's Pumps machine of Mike McLaughlin. shown on the lead lap in 15th position. The 72 car in 14th spot is Mike Dillon. There is Tony Stewart's progression. Raceway Park. And Mike McLaughlin really struggling, turning the wheel. The car just sliding up across the racetrack. Gotta be a helpless feeling. They just keep passing on by. There's Lance Hooper in the car number 23. Meanwhile, back up front. They are all chasing this guy, Bill Weber. But Tony Erie Jr. said they didn't come back with that car because Dale doesn't like it. He wanted to bring this one. Good decision. All right, battles winding down here. 38 and 21 side by side. Elton Sawyer and Mike Bliss. What a job Bliss has done here at IRP. They are battling for position. Bliss trying to take the seventh position away. Driving for Michael Walter for the Band Aid Ford. Michael may say, I'll take a few more of these days off and relax with Buffy and the baby here and let Mike drop that car a while. Wide flag for Dale Earnhardt Jr. His father's best finish at IRP. Dale Sr. was a third in 1990. But the young man, the third generation driver from Kannapolis, North Carolina, at 23 years of age, looks like he is one turn away from picking up his fifth win in 1998. The crowd on their feet, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. has won the Kroger 200. What a night for a young man with incredible talent and incredible patience. As we check into their pits, I think Bill Weber is caught up with Tony Yerby. Well, I, I've caught up with him, but I sure can't get his attention. He's talking to his driver. Remember, Dale Jr.'s never been here. Doesn't know where Victory Lane is. Congratulations. That's a great car and a great race again. Thanks, man. I mean, we really struggled today because we tested a different car. But I'm telling you, we all stuck together, and this is why we're going to be champions this year, right here. Did you feel you had something to prove after last week, Tony? Yeah, we really meant to come here and stake the show up again. I mean, if we feel like we really got one took away from us last week. But we're proud to have this as five, and it's great. Well, if they did get one taken away last week, they're taking one home tonight. Ready. All right, that was Dale. That was Tony Urey Jr. Dale Jr.'s fifth win in the past 15 starts as so we go down to Victory Lane and Marty Reed. Big smile on the face of this young man. 16th to first. Nice job. Yeah, we had a good car. The AC Delco Chevrolet Monte Carlo ran good all day long. And, uh, you know, I got to thank all the sponsors on board. Coca-Cola, uh, Burger King, Food City. 
Uh, everybody involved, I want to say to my daddy, you know, we won this one uh, for some friends of mine back home, too. Uh, had a friend of mine lose a mother this past week, but uh, we want to dedicate this win to, to her and, and the rest of the, uh, the Neal family. But um, it was a good win, and the Chevrolet Monte Carlo ran good all day, and, and you know, we made the pit right calls on pit, pit road, and the car was just fast right off the bat. And he did one other thing, guys. He was patient. Boy, was he ever. He made up for a week ago big time. Our McDonald's Winter Circle interview as Dale Earnhardt Jr. climbs out with his fifth win of the 1998 season. Earnhardt Jr. takes the win. Elliott Sandler will finish in second spot. Buckshot Jones in third. LaJoy fourth. And Dale